instructions on how to use the macro. First you have to have tiny task installed and once you do all you have to do is double click the macro file that will be provided as a Google Drive link in the description. Just double click that. Make sure your game is running at 720p windowed full screen. Set tiny task to always on top and continuous playback. When you hit your play E hotkeys is it will begin the macro and it should provide for people under tier 20 17 1708 shards per hour and for people over tier 20 or at tier 20 it should provide 2322 shards per hour this is as i not being a frame perfect machine so as close as I was able to get it to perfect over many trials so enjoy the shard farm and I will be continually updating it as with each um, daily reset as Master Rahul changes his glimmer and planetary material inventory and for how I got the values for the statistics that I will be showing you in a second there is a video at the end where I recorded my uh, my my game in slow motion at a 240 frames per second with a timer on the left hand side of my screen so I could calculate to the exact millisecond how fast exactly um, my how fast and how much time each specific action takes to get the values for my calculations in the next uh, part of the video. So enjoy the macro and happy farming and stay tuned if you want to see how I got to this number exactly. Okay, so you're aware of the new shard farm. Okay, so I did some math to find out what's the most efficient way of doing this. So we arrive at this conclusion. <sighs> so this is a piecewise function. This this term, these figures right here, represent the number of shards you get. Between the number of shards you get. And X represents the number of items. X in this portion of the piecewise function, x has to be between 0 and 19 because once you're at 19 items you're spending more than 10k glimmer so you need to purchase two which is what this one's for and this one's for because this one has if you have to purchase three this one's if you have to purchase two okay so four legendary shards to get the four glacial style wort or whatever item you're using mm, to purchase the 10,000 glimmer set and per item you get three three legendary shards this is if you're below level 20 we'll get we'll get level 20 in the season pass which we'll get to in a second so that's this and this function I recorded some footage of me going through the farm uh, macro really in slow motion at 140 frames with a millisecond timer or beside it to calculate exactly how much time it takes this 4.71 seconds is the amount of time it takes to retrieve an item and dismantle it from your collections the 0 0.35 seconds that represents the amount of time once you're in the master Rahul buy menu to hover over and activate it um, the purchase of the uh the item I'm not talking to anyone I'm recording something explaining my math This represents the amount of time you have to spend hovering over the item mm, to be able to interact with it and this represents the amount of time it takes to purchase one item so this represents you're purchasing four of a planetary material and five of them 
4 of a planetary material and 1 of a, a 1 stack of 10k glimmer plus the 16.94 seconds required to, to um, actually navigate through your menu. Now this entire term represents your shards per second. Now in an hour there's 3600 seconds so this multiplying this term by 3600 yields our hourly shards and in this one you have to purchase four of them four additional to get the 20k glimmer you need and then you've also and then the number of things you're purchasing ups by five because you're purchasing four more planetary materials and one more glimmer and it ups by five here again and you're spending four shards here eight shards here and twelve shards here so this piecewise function represents the amount of t the amount of shards you get per hour based on the number of items you're purchasing and dismantling so you continue like this so this displays so essentially we're looking for the highest the the peak of this because we can't really use decimal items because those don't exist we're going off of whole numbers so at 37 items you're getting 1900 it shards per hour whereas at 45 items which is the max you can carry you're uh, earning 1888 shards per hour so this at 37 it's the peak of the piecewise function which means it is the highest amount you can gain per hour now here you gain four shards per um, dis uh, dismantle which um, four shards per dismantle which results in uh, uh, obviously increased gain rate but then at the s but the the it, the math still applies in this scenario at 37 items you'll be gaining 2583 shards per hour so so the most efficient way of doing this is doing four full inventory slots so fill up your your um, class item, boots, chest plate, arms, and then get one helmet, or don't get the helmet, it doesn't really impact it that much. You'll be losing out on about, uh, let's see, You're losing out on approximately two shards, or, yeah, two shards. Wait, did I do that right? Uh, 37, it's... 583 36 it's 572 you'll be losing out on 11 shards in if you're past tier 20 and you'll be losing out on uh, 891 you'll be losing out on 9 shards if you're in this one so not too big of a deal per on an hourly basis so uh so the most efficient farm is 37 and 37 items or 36 it's up to you